Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about uh, your chart energy, okay? What your planetary placements um, actually tell about you and what they want to tell you, what, uh, what they want to convey to you, okay? And how your energy is actually your astrology chart, right? So how can you align your energy with your astrology chart? So we will discuss it. So if you are new so please subscribe and also if you want to take personal consultation you can check the website okay so let's start so see uh, planets planets don't govern us okay uh, our soul everyone's soul is different everyone's soul's desire is different and we take uh, on birth at the particular time when uh, the planetary position is aligning with the quality of our soul right for example if some uh, a soul is a very aggressive soul then he will only take birth when mars is at such positions okay so what people think that i am born at a particular time so planet is governing me no planets are not governing us planets and astrology is made by the sages so that we can understand ourselves right it is a guide it is guided by the divine so that you can understand your soul purpose so that who, you can understand who you are it is just a guide okay uh, to help you to know who you are what your soul is what changes you can bring in yourself okay so that is what a kundli a birth chart tells you but people think that no my planets govern me and my planets are deciding everything no okay um planets help us to understand who we are so first of all you have to end this misconception that uh planets are governing us no it's not right okay so your soul will only take birth at the particular timing when the planetary positions are aligning so god we should thank god and the divine for giving us astrology to help us to understand who we are what were our past lives okay so one thing you need to understand that if you think that you are facing problems in your life it is because of planetary positions then uh, yes it is because of planetary positions because planetary positions are showing you about your past lives about the energy blockages okay so if you are facing any issue there can be some energy blockages or the direction that you are choosing is not right for you so let's say for example you are facing problem in your career okay and when we open the chart we know if we will open the chart we will see the problem in the 10th house there is the issue of the 10th house when we open the chart we see let's say it's cancer okay and it's debilitated in that is libra ascendant it is debilitated in second house okay so this person uh, job will be unstable and there is a karma right so this person has got a debilitated moon um, because in the past life because uh, see a scorpio is a sign of deceit disappointment he disappointed his family regarding money okay maybe he was working and not giving money to his family right or he used to cheat or deceive someone regarding money he was uh, some wealthy person employer and he never used to give money to his employees so some issue is there okay so moon here what moon is showing you moon is showing you your karmas now you have got moon here so you need to align uh, this thing right how you will align if you do any work you need to give money to your family if you give money to your family especially your mother if you serve your mother if you never waste water you never waste food if you serve your mother moon will start giving you good results okay and if you uh, do any uh, work that is related to money finances but you are doing it away from the people society in isolation like uh, something like data analysis coding all these things are uh, people do not uh, people are not able to know about it okay so in which you don't have to deal with public if you do that kind of work you can also do occult mysticism astrology work 
then definitely you will get um, success okay so you need to align your life with your planetary positions with your planetary placements if you do not align your life with your planetary placements then it's not going to be beneficial for you right so uh, your birth chart tells you what you're bringing from the past life and navamsha tells you about what your uh, destiny is like how you should align yourself okay so let's say i have ketu in the first house right so if i do something like uh, i do something in which i have my selfish uh, need okay then it automatically never works for me but if i do something selflessly then uh, i get a return from it okay so ketu here is teaching me to become selfless and be simple and uh, all uh, also focus on myself okay ketu is saying focus on yourself let go and stay calm so if i do not folk and speak less also because ketu says speak less so if i do not follow these things then ketu will not give me good results right so and this way you have to align your life with your planetary positions but that doesn't mean you you should do something wrong that does not mean that you should uh, take some wrong decisions you have to simply do the work uh, that is represented by birth especially the navamsha chart okay navamsha chart is important it tells you about your destiny so if you align your life with the navamsha chart but now rahu placement for example rahu is placed in my 7000 navamsha it is not telling me to focus on my partner relationship no uh instead here what i can make out of it is selflessly serv serving the people selflessly serving the society using the ketu quality to selflessly help the people to gain knowledge okay because se seven thousand is not only relationship right so you have to little bit use logic your subconscious mind to read the navamsha chart and align your life according to the navamsha chart and trust me if you do it it's going to help you very much okay so yes this thing you can do align your life with the navamsha chart it's going to be very helpful for you okay so thank you take care bye